This is the Mojo, the Meaning of Life and Business podcast, where life and business intersect. Hosted by Jennifer Glass, CEO of Business Growth Strategies International and BGSI Coaching. We are dedicated to your success. Welcome to another episode of Mojo, the meaning of life and business. We're going to be taking a break from our normal routine on our show uh, for this episode. We're also dropping this episode a day early because the 9-11 remembrance ceremonies, the reading of the names, just wrapped up. There's so much that has gone on in the last 22 years since the fall of the Twin Towers in New York, the crashing of the planes into the Twin Towers, the crashing of the plane into Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and the crashing of the plane into the Pentagon, killing nearly 3,000 people as an immediate result of the September 11th attacks, and another three, 4,000 people plus in the years since due to 9-11 related illnesses. But we're not here to talk about the death and destruction. We're here because I'm hoping that you can help me. But before we do that, let me tell you a story. The day started like any other day. It was a Tuesday morning. It was a clear, beautiful day outside, highs in the 70s here in the New York metro area. Getting on the bus from New Jersey into New York City was like any other day in the week going to work. Driving on the bus all the way through the route until we get to the Lincoln Tunnel Helix coming off of the New Jersey Turnpike. From there, at our vantage point at the Helix, we saw a small plane, or what looked like a small plane, crash into the World Trade Center. From our vantage point with the fireball coming out the other side, it looked like a small plane. I continued down into the subway system that day I asked the token clerk at the Times Square subway station, other than Chamber Street, is there any, is downtown Manhattan open? I was told that other than police activity at Chambers, the rest of downtown was open. So I get in the subway and I go down to my office, which was getting off of the 2-3 train station at the Wall Street station. I step out of the train station and I see way too many personal belongings lying there on the street. I see shoes, I see dolls, I see other personal belongings from the uh, luggage that was on the planes. I see papers that were blown out from the various financial firms that were housed in the two towers that were known as the Twin Towers. Continuing on to my office, which was at 65 Broadway at the time, I go upstairs and I'm met by our office manager who said that our COO didn't want anybody upstairs that day, or at least at that time. So. We went back down the elevator and we were standing on the corner of Wall Street and Broadway watching the buildings burn. After some time, we ended up going back to our Wall Street office, which was across the street from the stock exchange. Seeing the buildings collapse, seeing the resulting utter devastation to lower Manhattan was something that I never really understood the biblical plague of darkness 
until that happened. Seeing everything else that occurred that day, I could not believe my eyes. And I swore it was a dream or I was in some movie set. When the buildings ended up coming down and we were told that we had to go to the Brooklyn Bridge to get away from the area, I moved with everyone else towards the Brooklyn Bridge and eventually crisscrossed and made my way back west up to the Port Authority bus terminal at 40th and 8th in New York City. I have absolutely no idea <clears throat> of how long the trip took. I have absolutely no idea it was what time it was when I finally got to the bus terminal. I have absolutely no idea how long it was that I was sitting on the curb on the street until an Armenian gentleman in a black SUV pulls up and says he has room for four to New Jersey. When we're young, we hear instructions, never get in cars with strangers. And I heard my mother's admonishment as I was sitting there and he said he had room for Ford in New Jersey. I heard that going through my mind at that very moment. And I said, absolutely no rules apply today. And I said, I don't care where New Jersey you're going, please get me out of here. Along with three other people, we got into his SUV and we drove up Riverside Drive in New York until we reached the George Washington Bridge. At that moment, the George Washington Bridge outbound upper level opened up and we safely made it back to New Jersey. This Armenian gentleman that pulled up, dropped me off at the Glen Point Marriott in Teaneck, right off of Route 80. I never got his name. I never had a chance to even look at the license plate because it never occurred to me that I needed to pay attention. I thanked the gentleman when I got out of the car, but there was absolutely no way that I was able to really, truly express my absolute sincerest gratitude for getting me to safety on that day, getting me out of New York, returning me to my family, returning me home. My hope is that for anybody who is listening to this, if you know or you are that gentleman that pulled up that day, please, please reach out. I would love to be in a position to thank my guardian angel. For 22 years, I have been sharing this story. My hope is that I will finally have the opportunity after 22 years to really express once again, my sincerest thanks for helping me get out of New York City that day. Please reach out if you are or know that person. You have absolutely no idea how much it meant to me and my family. The meaning of life and business, sometimes it really is the meaning of life. Meaning of life is doing good, helping others, and being there for others in good times and in bad. What this gentleman did really was helping four other people in a time of utter devastation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This has been another episode of Mojo, The Meaning of Life and Business. It is my hope that we never again have another situation where we need to rely on the kindness of strangers in times of devastation. Unfortunately, we know that that's likely going to happen. As the words of Mr. Rogers, in the time of tragedy, look to the heroes, look to the saviors. 
Thank you again. This has been another episode of Mojo, the Meaning of Life and Business podcast. If you like what you heard, please consider leaving us a review, liking us, or reaching out to us. You can contact us at bgsicoaching.com and let us know what you think. Thanks so much again for listening.